All right, let's bring in our man Lance Beeser, who is standing by live at the Speedway with reaction to today's race. What do you have for us, Lance? Well, Jack, you know, it's just a good, clean day of racing here at the Kansas Speedway. You know, we didn't have really any major wrecks and only five cautions. At the end of the day, when the dust settled, Greg Biffle had his second career win here at the Kansas Speedway. But the real impact came in the point standings, where Jimmy Johnson, the defending champ, is now on top, and Carl Edwards has jumped up to fourth. Those last two runs, it was uh, it was amazing. I mean, it was, a, you know, literally the best car I've ever driven here. You know, I could drive anywhere on the racetrack. I could, you know, enter any line in the corner and push the gas down whenever I felt like it. It was uh, pretty incredible. It's a great position to be in, but it's way too early to think about it and to worry about defending. Um, and you've got uh, Chase guys running so good each and every week. And I know there's a lot of uh, attention this morning made of the guys that didn't qualify good. And here's here's two of them sitting up here that qualified badly and, and drove to the front. So uh, you just can't put your guard down. Uh, I really wish we would have finished a little better. It, the way it was all working with traffic, I thought, there was a couple opportunities where I thought, man, I'm going to run top two or three here if, if I could just get my line worked out. But battle loose all day, man. Uh, we won out that steering box, I guarantee it. Jamie McMurray finished 11th today. Clint Boyer was 15th. Apparently, neither local driver all that happy with their performance. They both declined interview requests and then just bolted out of the garage area. Live at the Kansas Speedway, I'm Lance Fieser, NBC Action News. They just bolted, huh? They got out of there. All right, Lance, we'll talk to you tonight at 10 o'clock. Much more from the Kansas Speedway. Now.